Hey guys, today I want to show you some of the modifications that I've done to my ANET A6. Um, some of them are pretty common, some of them are not. Um, the first thing obviously that's apparent is this uh, enclosure. Uh, for nothing else, it keeps the noise away. There's the inside of the enclosure. I've removed all my electronics. My LCD and my, my motherboard, they're on the outside of the enclosure now, on the other side of the plexiglass here. My PSU, power supplies on this side. Another thing I did is I installed this uh, PSU fan, the cooler to, to keep the uh, power supply. This is just an old uh, computer fan I had hanging around. I think it's 100 millimeter or something like that. And it's just wired right into the 12 volt, one of the 12 volt uh, connections inside. It, it turns on and off with the power, when I turn the, the power supply on and off. Another thing I did was I installed this uh, magnetic fan holder. And I also installed that filament feeder in there. If you, I don't know if you can see that, that gray piece right uh, below the, the rollers. And that really helps for filament feeding and it's good for flexible filament also. I had to lower the nozzle up probably about one or two millimeters. The combination of the filament guide and the magnetic fan makes it a real joy to load filament on here in here now it's uh it's a lot easier a couple other small things that i did these rods you know they're kind of sloppy in here i wrapped teflon tape around them so they squeeze nice and tight i also did that over here on the uh y-axis the x-axis is for some reason those are tight so i didn't have to do those at least not yet my filament gets fed through over here over the top through a tiny little hole on the top of my enclosure i installed this tensioner and then if you can see in there, there's a rod beneath the, those belts. I actually made a video for that that shows uh, how I made that rod. It just puts uh, counter pressure for the uh, belt tensioner instead of uh, printing out those big braces. The rod, I think, does a nicer job and I can still move the printer around if I need to. These LED lights I had laying, in, laying around, they've been kicking around for three or four years now and finally I got a use for them. I installed the Skynet firmware for the auto bed leveling and I also printed out this enclosure for the LCD so I can move it remotely out outside. Here's the board on the outside. I'm not done with this. I'm gonna install some MOSFETs but it's gonna stay mounted pretty much where it's at on the plexiglass on the opposite side of the enclosure and the reason why I put it there is because uh, most of the wires only allowed for me to go that far and I had to extend probably three or four of them to make this work the way you see it I also printed out this uh, PSU enclosure to keep all the electricals underneath the cover I installed this switch this is a very basic cover. It, uh, it only comes with a few holes in it and I installed this switch in it. It's just a regular toggle switch. I prefer that. You know, I, didn't, I got about 20 of these hanging around in the drawer so I didn't want to put in the other one that people are using. I have more detailed footage of installing the filament guide in the extruder. Um, if anyone is interested in and seeing that footage, uh, let me know in the comments below. And I can make a video about that. The bottom line is that I had to 
lower the feeder tube or the heat break I guess is what they call it I had to lower that down so that the filament guide could sit flat on the flat part of the extruder because that heat break typically is installed up higher almost against the uh, the rollers if you have any questions please don't be afraid to ask them in the comments below if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe and share it with your friends thank you